You're a very loyal guy. Your first job out of BG was back at your high school, mm -hmm. Rosemont High School. And then now, years later, your first head coaching mm -hmm. job is at your alma mater. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's uh, it's unique. So so you're right. When I when I was still playing at the minor league level, uh, the job at my high school came open and I took it. And it was easy to do because I was from there. My wife's from there. Just a, a real easy transition out of professional hockey to, to coaching. And then um, fast forward to Bowling Green. Real you know real easy to come back to Bowling Green as an alum, um, even though it. it was different this time around. Uh, there were four other people that I had to be aware of, and, and, and it would turn their lives upside down to move a whole family here and, and whatever. But it was a something that, uh, as a family, we decided was something that we were very, very um, interested in and, and, and wanted to, to do. And, and you know, now fast forward ten years, and now I'm the head coach. And yeah, this is you know, I, I've never been a guy that bounced around a bunch. You know, um, I, I can I, I, I've, I've wanted to coach at the highest level. But I also wanted to make sure that what I was doing at the job I had was good. And, and if, if there was an opportunity to move up, it wasn't because I just chased, chased, chased. It was because people came and said, hey, you're doing a really good job. Would you be interested? So that's kind of how I've approached it. And um, it, it's worked out. Uh, my, my, uh, I only know one way, and that's kind of my way. And it's, it's, it's always, I've always landed on my feet, and, and, and things have worked out for, for myself and for my family. So yeah, being loyal is something that I value and something that's important to me. And uh, like, you, like you said, uh, being here is, is really important to me. What is it like being a part of the 50th year of Falcon Hockey? When you were a part of it so many years ago, you were here kind of turning the program around when it was on the brink of extinction, and you guys made it back to the tournament last year, something they hadn't done since you were a player. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot to, to unravel there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so as a player, you come here, and, and, and being from Minnesota, I, I was very familiar with the programs in Minnesota. You know, Minnesota, University of Minnesota, Duluth, North Dakota, Wisconsin, those programs that were, were um, well known ar around our area. And then, and then coming to Bowling Green to play, you know, a, a whole new, uh, a bunch of doors get open to you. I, I've never been to Ohio and, and, and I come here on my visit and I see the facilities and I see the success and I see the players that are, you know, gone on and done great things. And so it's, it's, it's a, a unique opportunity and something that I, that I really was interested in and then you know you play here and you're part of NCAA tournament teams and you're playing with with some of the best players in the history of our program and guys that went on and did great things professionally and as, as players and as coaches and then to have the opportunity to come back and and knowing that when we came back it wasn't great it wasn't the program that I was used to being a part of it had kind of lost its way and and then you work really hard to to do it the right way and, and try to build it back up to what you believe it can be and then ultimately you do that, and, and it, you know, culminating with the last year's NCAA tournament uh, was was, I mean, that was for me. It was really, really gratifying. It was, it was because I I believed all the time what Bowling Green could be, and it, and I was I would get frustrated um, when we we weren't getting to where we wanted to get quicker because I. I the Bowling Green I knew was was a program that could play anybody anywhere anytime a, a program that was consistently in NCAA tournaments a program that had outstanding players that went on and played in the National Hockey League and and coaches that went on and did great things so that was the program that I remembered and, and was a part of and and so for us to, I knew how and then knowing how difficult it was for us from year one to year nine and year, year nine being an NCAA tournament bit it was it was really really gratifying to see all the time and effort we put into to building this thing back up to get it to where we all believe should be that should be the standard that should be what bowling green hockey is about so it was uh it was something that I, I don't i mean hopefully there's a moment in my coaching career that's better than that um but that was a really cool moment for me